I thought he was just teasing until his jokes became my reality. Using my face blindness against me, my boyfriend's games turned dark when I finally uncovered the truth. It shattered my trust in my sanity. I've been with my BF for almost a year now. I love him dearly, and he loves me too, I'm guessing. But there's one thing that's causing a lot of issues for us. I suffer from prosopagnosia face blindness, which means it's really hard for me to recognize people's faces. I usually go by other characteristics to put a name to a person, like hairstyle, facial hair, marks, skin colors, accessories, etc., but it's still really tough. It's caused me severe anxiety and other mental health struggles. I'm lucky to have wonderful people around me, though, who are aware and try to help. They'll introduce themselves when we start talking where something they know I've linked to them or whatever. Usually my Beth does this too, but sometimes he likes to test me and it's incredibly stressful. He shaved off his beard once. A few times he wore a completely different style of clothing or changed his hairstyle, all without warning me. In those moments, he won't tell me who he is or say someone else's name just to see if I'll self-figure out it's him. He'll make jokes saying he'll try to switch with one of his friends and see if I'll stay loyal. I usually do realize it's him, but it causes me a lot of anxiety. We've had big fights on this. He says he's allowed to change his look. I'm not a cartoon character. I ask him to warn me. Don't get me wrong, he cares about me, but I don't think he gets how stressful it is. How do I make it clear? We have a lot of great times together. There's just this bump. Update. It's hard to imagine I made this post 19 hours ago and now I'm in the middle of breaking up with him. I'm very tired so I'm going to keep this short. I went to talk to him, showed him this, and told him he can't do it anymore. The conversation was a lot. First he was angry I made this post, then he was angry I was taking it all so serious. Lots of apologies and so on. He again said he was just trying to make a tough situation more light. I said it's too much. He said I can't take a joke and I need to let him be him. That he always tells me when he's been joking and if he was really keen on hurting me he'd just do things and not tell me. So his telling proves he cares. That one made me feel uncomfortable. At one point he said he just wanted to test if it was real because I could just be using it as an excuse to do anything. I left after that cause we were just going in circles. There was a lot of me making an issue of one small thing. I'm exhausted. He's still blowing up my phone with love and apologies but you guys made me realize a lot. Thanks, really. I'm trying to stay rational about it, but it's hard because I do care about him a lot. I'm going to get a few hours of sleep. Thank you again. Relevant comments. Comment 1. He is messing with your safety. Does he not realize that? OP? I don't think he realizes how confusing it all is. There was a moment he did the opposite, acting all weirded out when I thanked him for a nice date, saying it wasn't him, and though I knew it was, I still started to doubt myself. He did say it was a joke soon after, but it caused such a panic. He hasn't done it again, but it took me a long time to feel comfortable again. Comment 2. Making someone feel unsafe is not a joke. Gaslighting someone you care about is not a joke. Comment 3. Holy smokes, that's terrifying. Not to recognize a familiar face with a major change like that. That is like nightmare fuel. That your BF does it to you multiple times on purpose is scary. I don't know if there is a way you can explain it to him if he doesn't get it. It seems he enjoys your panic which is not a good thing for a partner. If this was my partner, I would get a tattoo or something. And I don't have any. OP, my dad actually got a two on his arm for me, which is a great comfort. I hadn't realized how messed up everything is until reading all these replies. Comment for, your BF is basically abusing you in emotional situations. He thinks it's hilarious you struggle and get severe anxiety, which isn't normal, nor does it mean he cares about you. This is a huge red flag OP. Abuse is a really big word, but I do agree it's not okay. I'm seeing him soon. We'll see how it goes. Update 1. Hi, y'all. Hope it's okay. I will post a little update. Things went batshit crazy. A lot has happened in the last days. I'm really grateful to you all, honestly. I wasn't aware about the real meaning of his pranks and what it said about him and our relationship. I went to talk to him the same evening I made that post with the intention of making clear he can't pull all that anymore. The conversation escalated. We talked for hours into the night and every day since. There's been a lot of messages. He got angry about the Reddit post I made. I showed him, angry at you guys, angry that I couldn't take a joke and listen to strangers said things like he, in the beginning, didn't believe I actually suffered from it and would use it as an excuse to cheat on him. That now he does believe, but due to bad breakups in the past, he has a hard time trusting I won't use it as an excuse regardless. Said he was joking about it because he wanted to make a tough situation lighter and that's just his sense of humor. That, if I loved him, I'd accept that. When I made it clear I was done, it got even worse. He began apologizing a lot. 
said he didn't realize it was such a big thing for me, again, didn't make any sense with all said before. In the same breath, he said that he at least told me. To the people who thought he actually had planned to trick me by using one of his friends, I think y'all may be very right. To be honest, I was done. I do care about him a lot. Can't just shut that off, but it's never going to work. There's been many, many messages slash calls slash etc. He dropped some vague hints that sometimes he pulled pranks I wasn't aware of. I don't know if that is true or he's just in a bad place right now. He also came to my place to apologize again. But I suspect he didn't expect I'd immediately recognize him as he didn't apologize till I said his name. He's not evil, but just very messed up. I blocked him everywhere, told him not to show up anymore, and that a friend would give him his stuff. I'm going to delete this account soon, but I wanted to thank you guys for helping me realize it. I genuinely don't think I would have. I'm heartbroken, but a bit relieved as well. Thanks for all the support and kindness. Relevant comments, comment one, I'm glad you broke up. Someone who loves you shouldn't ever do that to you. Just curious about your condition. Do you also have issues with recognizing voices as well as faces? I can only imagine how hard it must be to deal with. OP, actually voices are one of the traits I go by to recognize someone. Voices, posture, tattoos, hairstyle, and so on. Thank you loads. Update two. This is probably a bit stupid, but that boy has got me questioning my own mind. Either way, sorry if this is a bother. I broke up with my BF a few weeks ago. I had realized, in part thanks to Reddit, that some of his behavior was absolutely not okay, and when I tried to talk to him, the conversation escalated to me breaking up with him. I have a pretty severe case of face blindness, prosopagnosia. It means I can't recognize, remember people's faces and go by other characteristics to try and put a name to someone voice, hairstyle, posture, etc. People around me know and introduce themselves when we meet and other things to make it easier. I have a lot of anxiety because of it. He used to try and test me, which gave me a lot of stress. Changed up his look without warning to see if I knew it was him, and a lot more. He called it pranks. He is a juxter. So we broke up. It's been a lot. He'd been calling or messaging nonstop with both apologies and non-apologies till I blocked him. In moments of a lot of emotion, I said things like I never wanted to see him again and he'd reply that he was hurt, that I wouldn't even know if it was him and I was lucky he wouldn't do it. Made me feel icky. He contacted me again yesterday through a new account, saying he just wants one more face-to-face -face conversation, if only to give him his stuff that is still at my place and get some closure so we can both move on. I said my plan was to get a mutual friend to bring it over to him. He was hurt. And... He did seem a lot more calm than before and told me we were together for a year. He just wanted one conversation after I suddenly broke things off that he had some time to process now, etc. And that he doesn't understand how he suddenly, after a year of loving each other, became so evil I couldn't have one chat with him. But I don't feel good about it. My gut is telling me this will not be a good conversation. My worst fears are telling me he might play a trick to prove some point. W a bit if I don't reply anymore, wah, just say no. Edit. I didn't expect all these replies. I hope it's okay to respond like this. Thank you all, really. I think I knew already, but somehow started to doubt myself. The past weeks have been a lot. I really appreciate and need these words. I'm ready for all of this to be over and done with. Also, just a little thank you in general. Reddit's been a wonderful community, and it's helped me a lot. Update 3. It's been a wee bit, and since I'm still getting messages about this, I thought I'd just give one big update for this. So more than a month ago, I broke up with my beef because he kept pulling pranks involving my face blindness. I can't recognize faces and am dependent on other aspects to recognize someone. And even then, it's still confusing. After that, he'd been bugging me that he wanted to meet up so we could get some closure. And my gut was telling me not to, but I felt guilty. With you guys' advice and my own gut feeling in mind, I decided not to go. I asked a friend, Roger, to go bring him his stuff and kept him blocked including blocking the new accounts he'd made. Roger came back with a letter from him to me. The letter in itself was v apologetic. He even said he was grateful for our time together and took full responsibility. It ended with him saying he'd respect it if I chose not to reply or message. Honestly, a lot of very respectful words. I still decided not to get in touch. Still trying to get over the breakup myself. But I did appreciate it till I found out he wasn't letting go like he said. Roger and some other mutual friends let me know he was asking them about me. A lot. If I had read the letter. If I was seeing someone else already. And so on. A couple of days ago, he showed up at my place. He was clearly not sober and be upset. He just seemed so broken. So I stupidly let him in. For a while, he was just being miserably nice. While I got him water and stuff. But the more sober, 
the more angry he got. At that point, I messaged basically everyone I knew to come. I didn't think he'd hurt me, but I didn't feel comfortable being alone with him regardless. Among the many accusations of me not even having the decency to reply, that I clearly never cared about him, and that I was a horrendous person. He told me I cheated on him and didn't even know it. So how could I blame him for not trusting me? I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to stay calm but failed, and I know I should have not lost my cool. I screamed at him, asked him what he was talking about. Apparently on a night out with him and others, he asked his friend Mike, who knows of my face blindness and has similar characteristics as my ex, apart from a different voice and smell, to swap out with him and kissed me, and I didn't know. I don't know if he's lying or not. But knowing I was drinking and in a crowded loud room, I know it's a possibility. Especially since Mike tried to kiss me another time, though then I immediately realized it was him and lost my shit at him. When I told my then beef, he was more angry than I had ever seen him, so ick if that time was a plan as well or not. Either way, Mike is a disgusting human. I know it's just a kiss but it did make me sick to my stomach just thinking about how they might have played me. I told him to get out. He didn't. Luckily, it didn't take long for some people to arrive and get him out. I'm endlessly grateful for the people I have around me. I'm staying at my parents' place now, took a break from work, and I'm looking into therapy. My mom and dad, who got a tattoo years ago just so I would never doubt it's him, are treating me like a princess and reminding me of the kindness people deserve. Haven't looked into a restraining order, but might if it continues. Thanks to you all for helping me see what's right in this situation. Reddit has been a community I am very grateful for. I probably won't update anymore, as this is over and done with, but I'm glad I got to pour my heart out to y'all. Update 4. We broke up nearly three months ago, it wasn't pretty. There were a lot of things not right between us. Among other things, he kept messing joking with the fact that I have a severe case of face blindness. I wasn't perfect in this relationship either too, not trying to make him the villain. Usually I go by voice, obvious traits, and so on. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of wonderful people around me who'll introduce themselves once we start talking, warn me if they change their looks or even get wear something that'll help me like my dad who got a tattoo just for me, but it's still hard and gives me so much anxiety. So maybe I'm imagining it all. I stayed with my parents and we cousins for a while after the breakup, but since I'm home, I feel like he's still around. The first time, I went to a club with a friend and her beef, started dancing with a guy and went outside with him to get some air. The moment we stepped outside and I heard his voice, I knew it was him. I was so sure. I freaked, went inside again, and left with my friend. I messaged him later, and he denied it vehemently, telling me he was not even near there, that we can meet up and talk if I want. My friend says she's not sure she was off with her BF and didn't see him, so maybe I'm wrong. My gut says it was him, but I can't trust my brain with these things. There's been more incidents like this since. If I go out, sometimes I just feel like he's there. Like I'll see a guy focused on me and will know it's him, but he'll deny it. Or someone will come to my job and I'll recognize the voice, but he responds so confused and I'll feel like a crazy person making a scene. So I just quietly give him what he needs. I'll go to the grocery store and a guy will suddenly be next to me. He won't even say anything to me, but the smell traits tell me it's him. But then later he denies it all. It's not every day or something. Once a week, maybe not even that. But it's enough to make me feel so on edge. The thing is, I could be wrong. Maybe it was never him. I don't go out a lot anymore, unless I'm with someone. I keep my phone in my hand in hopes of snapping a picture to show to my friends. Looking into how to get a camera. I don't know what else to do, really. I'm afraid if I talk to others about it, they'll simply dismiss it. At the same time, he's still messaging me, just as kindly as when we first started dating. He says he's worried about me, that he wants to help, and I just feel like I'm going crazy. Maybe I am. Update 5. I have a quite severe case of face blindness but have my own ways to get around, like all of us. But still I can never be completely sure who's in front of me until they confirm it. I'm sure you know the feeling. Now I have had wonderful people in my life who make it so much easier for me. But have you had people who don't do that? My previous beef messed with me sometimes and I sometimes worry he might still be. But it's hard to be sure when I can't trust what I see. Sometimes I'm so sure it's him, but he'll deny it and I can never convince myself to be 100% certain of what I saw. Do you have any things you did to deal with people who messed with you? Or didn't you take your prosopagnosia seriously? New update. First, thanks to the mods for allowing me to post this update. I don't know if anyone will see this, but I keep getting messages about this, very kind ones, for which I'm grateful and thought I'd just do a wee update. I'm not in the best place mentally, so I will keep this short. This will also be my last one. 
as live taken plenty of your time as is and don't really know what to do with the attention, though I'm extremely appreciative of all the support and advice. I posted here a while ago about how I wasn't sure if my ex was messing with me and my face blindness, or if I was just being paranoid. I now know it's both. I really did feel like a crazy person. The day I made the post, I broke off contact with him again. I got a few more messages from him, all kind and concerned-ish. Even some mutual friends and one girl I barely know reached out saying they were worried because of what my ex told them. But here's the thing, I did manage to subtly make two uh, videos two different times in which my parents could clearly see him. Honestly, I was an absolute mess. Since then, I've also been staying with my parents again and took a break from work. We're trying to look into a restraining order, but it's not that easy. There's some redemption, though. Our a friend did what I didn't have the balls to do and completely exposed him. Got some very angry messages from my ex after, in which he, among other things, said he just happened to be in the same place, but now I'm making him out to be some kind of stalker because of my insecurities. And doesn't explain why he didn't just say it was him though, or how it happened at least twice in less than two weeks. That's where we're at right now. I wish I could tell you more. I'm kind of stuck right now. I have no proof about the previous times. Even more so, there's been moments in the past weeks I also thought it was him and it wasn't, either confirmed by video or because I wasn't alone. Then there's been some times in the last weeks where I didn't manage to get any recording photo. Though I'm relieved to have some answers, I'm also heartbroken. I don't know how to process knowing there's people that'll abuse my flaws in this way. I feel incredibly paranoid and it's exhausting. I'm looking into moving away. At the same time, I'm hopeful this is the end of it, that him getting exposed will be the end of this. Multiple people have told him to back off and leave me alone. I'm happy to be home with my parents for now. I'm safe. Thanks for all the advice. Relevant comments. Commenter dude is an abusive psycho. Put him on blast. He has serious mental problems. OP, I'm gonna sound like an absolute idiot, but I still often feel conflicted about it. I wish he'd just admit to everything. There's a lot of things that feel uncertain and I'm having a hard time letting those go. Like, I only have proof about those two times. What if he's right and it was only those two? Still wouldn't be okay, but ick. Either way, just hope it all ends here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real life stories happening around you.